up, Skodom guys, Jurassic here. Today is going to be a video on how to get the best settings for your first descendants. All right, so first off, you want to have ray tracing off, especially if you have a older graphics card. Additional options, you can leave this off because I found most of them don't actually help your game and it'll actually run worse having this setting turned on. VSync, you want to turn this off. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, once again, you want this off. Some games have benefits from day one. It seems like the Naval Boost has a higher chance of crashing your game, so you definitely want to leave this off. You want to limit your max frame rate to 60 that way your game isn't going to try to get more frames if you guys have your task manager open with this game up it actually uses a very high cpu usage now to get the best graphic fidelity i have visibility as high anti-aliasing on high post-processing i have low shadows are low global illumination is low reflections are low textures i have set to high effect is low vegetation is medium Shader quality is high. Object is low, which they don't even tell you what objects are. Physics I have on medium. And turn your motion blur off. This settings I found gives us the best graphics inside the game without it going like too crazy on our computer. I have a 1080 Ti if you need an example on which graphics card I'm using. So you should be able to run this setting without crashing. We streamed for nine and a half hours after I changed some settings. But the main thing is actually going to be you want to, if you're in a group, however, so inside of a group, you want to open up your task manager. You have to close out Discord. If you're using the app itself, this is going to cause your game to crash. So you click on it, click end task. That way there's no traces of Discord being ran at all on your computer. And then you're able to, for example, either open up Opera GX or Google Chrome. From here, you're able to go inside of your Discord. And for example, if you want to chat, all you have to do is click on this. It'll use your default microphone. So if you make sure your default microphone matches your microphone input, but using the browser source is the best way to still use Discord while playing the first sentence without your game crashing. If this video helped you out, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you guys are able to play this game without crashing. Hopefully this fixed your issues.